Today in our 2015 Cadillac SRX, we're going to review and install the Roadmaster Tow Bar Wiring Kit, part number RM-154. Now we've gone ahead and laid out our install kit. We've got the main wiring harness that's going to run from the back connected to the taillights and up to the front of the vehicle. Then the patch cable that'll go from the tow vehicle to our towed vehicle. Now to connect the main wiring harness to the taillights, we we'll utilize the diodes provided. To begin our install, we're going to start on the passenger side and remove the taillight assembly. Now to remove the taillight assembly, we need to remove the plastic cover first. It's held on by a push pin fastener here at the top, which we can use our flat blade screwdriver to pry out in the center of the fastener and then remove it. And there are several clips underneath. We can just go ahead and pop it free and set it aside for installation later. Now with the cover out of our way, we can remove the two fasteners that hold the taillight assembly. Once those are out of the way, we'll go ahead and pop the taillight assembly free, pulling it towards the rear of the vehicle and releasing any fasteners underneath. Now, as you pop the taillight assembly out, we see the two alignment pin fasteners, and we will be careful not to break as we remove the taillight. Next, we need to access the manufacturer's wiring to create our running and turn signal circuit. We're gonna go ahead and remove some of the tape to make it easier to access and tap into the manufacturer's wiring. Using a utility knife, we'll be careful not to cut or damage the wiring underneath. Next, using a test light, we're going to locate the wire that will power the manufacturer's running light circuit. Now with our running light on, the light tan wire with a brown stripe is our running light circuit. Now with the brake pedal applied, we'll test the white wire with the yellow stripe and this will become our brake and turn signal circuit. Alright, now that we've identified our wiring, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect electrical connection from the back of the taillight assembly. Next we can go ahead and start connecting the spade terminals for our diodes. Now to install the diodes, we'll first need to install our connectors. We'll start with our turn and brake signal circuit, take the manufacturer's wire, cut it in half, and install a spade terminal on each end. Once I have the terminal installed and crimped down, we'll go ahead and check it and then repeat the same process on the other side. Next, I'm going to repeat the same process for the running light circuit. Now with all our spade terminals connected, we'll go ahead and put our diodes in place. The diode We'll have two spade connectors on one end and a single connector on the other. On the two connector end, it'll be the input going out to the tail light. So for this application, it'll be our turn and brake signal circuit. We'll have the input from the vehicle going out to the tail light. Then our brake circuit will be the same way. We have the input from the vehicle and out to the tail light. Now we have two open terminals. Those will get connected to the four flat wiring harness that ultimately connects to the tow vehicle. Now to get our wiring harness here behind the tail light assembly, we're going to run it from underneath behind the rear bumper or fascia. To assist in routing, we'll use a pull wire, which could be a stiff piece of wire. In this case, we're going to use a piece of air tubing. We'll route it between the sheet metal and the rear fascia so that it goes underneath the vehicle. Now as we have access to the pull wire, go ahead and pull it out so that I can tape the four flat wiring to it and pull it up behind the tail light. The four flat wiring harness has two four flat connectors. We only need one, so the other end here at the back of the vehicle will just get cut off. Now I can take the wiring harness, tape it to my pull wire and pull it up behind the tail light. Now to make the install a little easier, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the other two 
electrical connections into the back of the tail light, just so we can set it aside for now. We'll take our pull wire and use it to pull our four flat wiring harness up behind the tail light assembly. I can then go ahead and remove the pull wire. Now we have our four flat wiring harness routed here behind the tail light. We'll go ahead and start making our connections. Note we will not be using the yellow wire, so I'm just going to go ahead and trim it off short. The green wire will be our brake and turn signal circuit. The brown wire will be our running light circuit. The white wire will be our ground circuit. The white wire will get the blue ring terminal provided with the install kit. Now with the spade terminals installed, we'll go ahead and put the connectors onto the diodes. Again, our green wire is our brake and turn signal circuit, and the brown wire is the running light circuit. Now the ground circuit will get routed to the body of the vehicle We'll use a self-tapping screw to secure it. Note when finding a ground location, look for an area where the sheet metal doubles up for a more secure ground. Now with all our connections made, we can go ahead and wrap up our connection points with some black electrical tape to help keep them clean from dirt, dust, debris, and moisture, and bundle up our wires. All right, now with our wires taped up, I'm just gonna use a zip tie here to secure our four flat wiring harness to the manufacturers. I cut off the excess from the zip tie, clean up the install look and get it out of the way, and then we'll reinstall the tail light assembly. Now we'll move over to the driver's side and repeat the same process of removing the taillight assembly. Now just like on the passenger side, once we have access to the back of the taillight assembly and the manufacturer's wiring, we'll go ahead and peel back some of the electrical tape. Just like we did on the passenger side, we'll test our running light circuit, which will be the manufacturer's purple wire. And then our brake and turn signal circuit's going to be the yellow wire with a brown stripe. Now I've identified the two wires, I'm going to go ahead and remove the taillight assembly. Now we can go ahead and repeat the same process we did on the passenger side, cutting the wires in half, stripping them back, and adding the spade terminals. All right, now once our spade terminals are installed, we'll go ahead and install the diodes. Out. In from the vehicle. Out to the taillight. Now, just like on the passenger side, we're going to go ahead and take our pull wire and feed it down underneath the vehicle. Next we need to route our four flat harness from the passenger to the driver's side and ultimately up behind the driver's side taillight assembly. To make it easier to route, we're going to go ahead and remove the rear access panel. Simply pop it out and give us a little more working room. Now to help route up over top of the frame to stay away from the exhaust, we use another pull wire. Quick tech tip. Keep in mind when running any of your wiring, still with many moving components, is steering your suspension or excessive heat such as exhaust. Now I'm going to go ahead and double up my four flat harness, attach it to my pull wire 
and get it up behind the driver's side taillight assembly. And when you double it up, you want to make sure you have just enough. Get up behind the taillight assembly. All right, now we'll pull it up behind the driver's side taillight assembly and remove the pull wire. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use my utility knife to separate the four molded wires. We're going to be very careful not to cut into the wiring underneath. You just want to be able to separate the four. Now here on the driver's side, we're going to basically be making the same connection with the running and turn and brake signal circuit. So I'm going to go ahead and take the yellow wire that routes back over to the passenger side, then the brown wire is our running light circuit. It needs to be able to connect to both sides. We're going to cut it in half. So I'll go ahead and take my running light, brown wire, cut it in half, strip back both sides, twist the two together, Reconnect them and securing them with the yellow spade terminal. Then our yellow wire, which will be the turn and brake signal circuit here for the driver's side, coming from the tow vehicle. We'll strip it back and add our final spade terminal. Now let's go ahead and install the spade terminals onto our diodes. All right, now with all our connections made, we'll go ahead and wrap it up with our electrical tape. Next, we'll go ahead and take the four flat harness. I'm just going to secure it here to the manufacturer's harness, like we did on the passenger side. Cut off the excess and reinstall the tail light. We'll go ahead and reinstall the rear panel. Now with the connections made at the tail lights, we'll go ahead and take the remaining portion of our four flat wiring harness and route it up to the front of the vehicle. This is where it'll be especially important to stay away from the moving components such as steering or suspension or excessive heat such as the exhaust. As we route the four flat connector, we'll also secure it as necessary using some zip ties. Once we've finished securing the wire, we'll go ahead and cut off the excess from the zip ties clean up our install look. Now once we get up here to the bottom of the engine compartment, we have two choices. One, we can continue routing here along the subframe and ultimately to the front of the vehicle where we'll mount our four flat connector. Or two, we can route up the firewall into the top of the engine compartment then ultimately to the front of the vehicle. Now in cases where you'll be adding a supplemental braking system, I recommend to route it to the top of the engine compartment where you can access the tow wiring, as in most situations you will connect to this four flat wiring. We're going to go ahead and route up the firewall, routing through the engine compartment, I recommend to use a pole wire just like we did for the tail lights. Run your pole wire through the engine compartment, connect your four flat wiring to it, and then pull it to the top of the engine. Now once we have the four flat connector pulled into the engine compartment, we'll go ahead and route through the engine bay and ultimately up behind the front fascia. Now once we have it routed into position, we'll go ahead and remove the tape and secure it to the front fascia. Provided with our install kit is a cap for the four flat connector, fits nicely onto it. Then we can take the cap, go around the fascia here, install the cap, 
just like that it'll secure our wiring to the front fascia. Now we'll go ahead and finish securing the wires as necessary, cut up the excess with the zip ties, clean up our install look, and we're ready to hit the road. That'll do it for the review and install of the Roadmaster Tow Bar Wiring Kit, part number RM-154 on our 2015 Cadillac SRX.